What's better to bet with the shooter on the pass line or against the shooter on the don't pass? Today we're going to compare the light side versus the dark side. There is a misconception that when playing the don't pass, you are betting against all the other players. Now this is incorrect. While you are probably betting different than the rest of the table, everyone is actually betting against the casino. Today we'll compare the two with a live roll on a 3-4-5 times table. Now mathematically, the don't or the dark side has an ever so slightly better house edge. For every $100 bet, the casino will collect about 37 cents on the pass line bets with maximum odds and about 27 cents on the don't pass. A couple pennies difference per $100 bet. So really, just bet the side that you think will roll. Again, this is going to be a $10 table, three, four, five times odds. All right, let's get started with both of them doing a $10 line bet. Pass line player, our, dark, our light side, dark side player. All right, coming out. Now, if you ever wanna roll the dice, you have to make one of these two bets. Yeah, you can actually bet while you're on the don't pass. You don't necessarily have to be on the pass line, but you do have to be on one of them if you wanna roll the dice. All right, here we go, coming out. Nine, nine's gonna be our point. Now for the pass line player, you're allowed three times, four times, five times odds. And that just means three times the amount of your bet, we have $10. So we can bet $30, $40, $50 in odds. If this was a $20 bet, we would double that. So here we're allowed to take $40 in odds or four times our line bet. $40 bet is gonna pay $60. Now for the don't pass, laying odds is exactly the opposite. We're allowed to win, it's based off the win, three times, four times, or five times. So for the don't pass, we're allowed to win $40. To win $40, you have to lay $60. All right, here we go. You lay 60 to win 40. This bet is a two to three favorite. This bet is a three to two underdog. Now here's a little trick on a three, four, five times table. It's always gonna be six times the amount of your flat bet. So every time, no matter the number, it's always gonna be $60. $60 to win 50, 60 to win 40, 60 to win 30. So if you're gonna do max odds on a three, four, five times table, it's always gonna be six times the line bet. The opposite could be said for the pass line. The winning is always gonna be six times the flat bet. So whether we bet 30, 40, or 50, we're always gonna win $60 back in odds. All right, let's see what happens with the dice. Eight, eight easy, we're not on that number. Now this video could take forever if I just stick with one number. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a second bet, which is the same bet, it's just in the middle of the game. Pass on, oh, I pulled it from his rack, but he's gonna make a don't come, and this player's gonna make a come bet. Just so we can get at least two numbers working. All right, here we go. Five. All right, so our bets will move to the five. The don't come will travel behind the five. The come bet will travel inside the five. So again, we're gonna lay $60 in odds. And this player is allowed to take $40 in odds. All right, let's see what hits first. 12, midnight. Nobody cares about that at this point in the game. Five. I don't know who to cheer for. I was going to be, you know, but we got a winner and a loser. So we rolled the five, which means our don't is a loser. So this bet is going to come down. This bet will come out. Win $60 for our odds bet, $10 for our flat bet. And then we can rack that up. And should we make another bet? Yeah, we'll make another come bet. And this player will make another don't come bet. All right, here we go. Three ace deuce, three craps. Remember, this is the come out roll for these bets. It's the first roll. Two, three, and 12 is a loser here. Two and three is a winner here. It's bar the 12. So it's a push if I rolled a 12, but we won a three, so we're a winner there. So we can go ahead and rack that up. This player is gonna to have to make another comeback. 
All right, here we go. Six, the easy way, six easy. This will travel behind the six. This will travel inside the six. Go ahead and drop $60 for the odds. We're gonna lay that. And $40. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but you have to have, or you should have a bigger bankroll to play the don't, because you're always betting more to win back less. All right, let's let them fly. Seven, out. So our pass line player is gonna lose all of his money real quick. We're going to win 40 for the odds, 10 for the front, and this is gonna come down. And 60 will get paid 50 in odds there and 10 for the front. Puck will come off. All right, let me try to organize my chips here real quick. So with the dark side player, it's kind of fun because they lose uh, only one number at a time. And when they win, they win all at once. You know, if they continue to make don't bets. The pass line player wins one bet at a time if they have multiple bets, but with a seven, they lose them all at once. Again, yin and yang, just opposite. All right, here we go, back on the pass line. We've got a new shooter coming out. Here we go, looking for a point. Four, four hard. It's a tough one to hit, we'll see. All right, again, the don't player, it's always gonna be $60. So 60, we're laying 60 to win 30. And here for our pass line player, we're betting 30 to win 60. All right, here we go. Three, three craps. We don't care about that in the middle of the game. We did for forget to make our second bet. So we'll go ahead and make that now. Would have affected the game a little bit, but here we go. Oh, you know what happened? I hit that dice, right? A <laughs> big superstition, but seven. Now this is an interesting situation. We're gonna lose here. The pass line player loses on a seven. The don't come loses on the 7-11. So he'll lose, but our come better, he'll win. So he got a little bit. And then our don't pass is going to win 30 in odds and 10 in the front. And then the puck will come off. That was a bad shooter. Quick roll. All right, new shooter. Let's get our line bet down. See what happens with a new point. Nine, nine's gonna be our point. I don't know why this is up in the field. All right, same old story. This one's easy, you're always gonna bet 60. So we're gonna lay 60. To win 40, here we're going to Bet 40 to win 60. It just all comes down to which the numbers roll. Which is the better way to play? The dice are gonna tell you at the end of the night. All right, let's go ahead and get our second bet down. They're, I mean, they're almost mathematically identical. It just costs a little more to play this way. The nice thing about the don't is once the puck is on, which is the majority of the game, you're gonna be at the advantage. That's why you have to pay more to win back less. You're always the favorite, usually. All right, here we go. And another quick seven. Who's shooting these dice? Well, that's right, that's me. All right, so down comes the pass. We've got a loser here and a winner here. Sixty will win 40 and 10 for the front. So right now it looks like our don't player has the advantage because, uh, well, I'm shooting really poorly. Let's see if we can get our luck to change any. All right, here we go, coming out. Four, four easy, four is the point. All right, we're gonna bet 30 to win 60. And you guessed it, 60 to win 30. All right, here we go. 
six the hard way. Again, I forgot my additional bet. So we'll get in the don't come and the come. All right. Six. We would have had a change of the game there. Let's go and travel behind the six, inside the six. Drop the dealer $60 to lay odds. And then uh, this player is going to take $50 in odds to win 60. If I can get it set up, there we go. All right, here we go. Which way will it go? Nine, center field nine. Five, right in between them, right in the between them. All right, here we go. We're zeroing in on something, it feels like. Ugh, there it is, the seven. I said, oof, but I mean, half the players are, are celebrating. All right, pass line comes down. And the come bet is going to be a loser. 60 is going to win 30 here. Line bet wins 10. And then we've got 60 wins 50 here and line bet of 10. All right, and the puck comes off. All right, our pass line player is getting pretty short. We'll just, he's not gonna catch up, but we'll give it one more roll. Again, this isn't, this isn't like a, um, conclusive of anything that one way is better than the other. It's just gonna depend how the dice roll. All right, so we'll go leave $10 in the don't. Look at that, his rack's so full, he can't even fit everything. All right, I'm gonna have to get some change here. Oops, I think I shorted, yep. There you go, 25. $10 on the line, good luck, sir. And here we go, new shooter. 12, midnight. All right, so that's gonna be a loser for the pass. The don't pass doesn't win, because it's bar the 12. So we'll just get back down for $10 and roll again. Here we go. Nine, nines are point. So let's go ahead and lay 60 to win 40. And do we have enough? Let's get some more change. So dealer, give me some nickels there. So we'll go 40 to win 60. All right, here we go. Six, easy. Again, I forgot my secondary bet. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Don't, you don't have to make the bet. You can continuously make them. You can make none of them. Just stick with your one bet if you'd like. And a come bet. Here we go. 12. All right, again, let's come out roll. So that's a loser. This is a push. We'll follow that up with one more bet. Here we go. 10. So far, this has not been the pass line or the light side shooter's um, day. All right, this will travel behind the 10, inside the 10. Let's go, actually, oh, yeah. You guessed it, 60. We're gonna lay 60 to win 30. And here, again, we, I need some more change from the dealer. And we're going to bet 30 to win 60. Wait, oh yeah, up here, my come bet. All right, let's see what the dice gods have to say about it. Three, three craps. Nine or 10 are the numbers that both the players are looking at. And there's the nine, so that's the point hit. This time our don't is gonna lose his odds. So our light side player, he's gonna win 60 for his odds and 10 in the front. So he finally got a win. All right, let's go ahead and rack that up. Puck is gonna come off. Now when the puck's off, remember, Come bet is a contract bet, so this is always working. The odds are off though. Now on a lay bet or don't bet, they're always working because, you know, presumably most people want the seven on the come out. 
So the flat bet and the odds are working for the come out roll. But let's go ahead and get a line bet down here. All right, same shooter. Six, six easy, that's gonna be our new point. All right, I'm gonna bet 60 to win 50 and 50 to win 60. All right, here we go. Inverse relationship. 10, 10 hard, that's gonna affect some players. That means our don't player here is gonna lose his money. And our light side player is going to win 60 in odds and $10 for his line bet. All right, he's making a little bit of a comeback here. Well, let's go ahead and drop the $10 to get a second point going for both of them. And same shooter, same hot shooter so far. And there's that seven. So that's going to end the game. All right, our pass line player is going to come down. Our don't come bet is going to lose. Our last come bet will get win. So back up a little bit. 60 is going to win 50, and 10 will win 10. All right, as you saw, today the dice uh, went the dark side player's way. Well, we start with 600, so this player is down a little bit. What do we got here? One, two, three hundred, four hundred dollars. So he's actually down two hundred bucks. Can you guess how this player did? Well, he's got five hundred, six hundred, seven, fifty. 775, uh, oh, some uh, 770, no, 780, there we go, 790. 790, 400. The dice went the way of the dark side. So let me know in the comments how you guys like to play. Again, the pass line player has the big advantage on the come out. After the point is on, then it becomes the advantage of the don't pass player. Eh, he's got a bet more to win back less though, so you gotta need a bigger bankroll. So there's pluses and minuses of both ways to go. But mathematically, as far as the house edge, they're almost identical bets. I mean, a few pennies difference over hundreds of dollars. So, all right, I hope you like this one. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.